What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are rocking out with Palkia for Series 10. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are crazy. Thank you so much for all the support that has been going out across this channel. But I've been trying to get my hands on a Palkia team for a while now, and it's finally here. I finally was able to get one, so I cannot wait to use this thing and grab some wins for you guys in today's video. But rocking out on the team, top of corner, we're starting off with the one and only Palkia. One of my favorite legendaries right here, Telepathy Ability, Lustrous Orb as its item. And if you guys do not know what this item does, only Palkia can use this item. Only Palkia can hold it. It boosts uh, the water and dragon type of Palkia by 20%. So his stab damage moves are going to be able to do a lot more damage, which is amazing all around. Move set of Hydro Pump, Spatial Run, both for big stab damage, Protect, and Trick Room as its final two moves. Right next to him is Blacephalon, an amazing Ultra Beast that can hit like an absolute truck. Beast Boost ability, Shell Bell as item, so he's going to be able to recover one eighth of all the damage he does. So if he deals 100 damage to a Pokemon, he's going to be able to do one eighth that. I was trying to do math in my head, couldn't do it that quickly because of some decimal number, but he will recover one eighth of how much damage he does every time he hits a Pokemon. Protect, Shadow Ball for stab, Expanding Force for huge coverage move damage, and Mind Blown for huge stab damage. Middle left, we got Wimscott over here, great support mom for this team, Prankster ability, Mental Herb so he can't be taunted, Helping Hand to help out a allied Pokemon, Tailwind is set up for speed, Protect, and Moon Blast for stab for our final two moves. Right next to him is another Ultra Beast for his team, and that is Stockataka over here. This Pokemon is going to be able to thrive in Trick Room in case we have to use it or if they're running Trick Room teams, we'll bring him in. We got Beast Boost ability, Safety Goggles, Rock Slide, Gyro Ball for stab, Trick Room for Trick Room, and Wide Guard to protect us from double hitting moves. Bottom left corner is a Raccoonid, another Pokemon that was going to work well in Trick Room. Water Bubble for his ability, Mystic Water to make his water damage do more damage, Wide Guard for those double hitting moves, Protect, and then we got Lunge and Liquidation both for heavy hitting stab moves. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Tapu Lele, Life Orb Tapu Lele I should say. Also with that Psychic Surge ability, so it's going to be able to pair well with that Blacephalon and that Expanding Force. And then we got Psychic for stab, Moon Blast for stab, Protect, and Dazzle Gleam for double hitting stab moves. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? You already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder, try to get some wins with this Series 10 Palkia team. Looking for a win in battle number one, going up against a Xerneas team alongside with Landris, Indeedy, Torkoal, Suicune, and Incineroar. Okay, I, I'm not really too scared of this team. I think Tapu Lele and Blacephalon could be a solid lead for this first battle. Considering that takes out the fake out and the intimidate at the same time, considering we have two special attackers, and then we have the surge, we can take terrain control as well. I'm gonna bring Palkia on the scene because we want to show off this Pokemon, and he's just great all around. And then final Pokemon, I'm thinking of Raccoonid or Sakataka. I don't think we need Whimsicott here. I really don't think we need it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go Raccoonid. I'm liking a Raccoonid. Let's get it. Let's bring a Raccoonade in this final spot and get rocking out from there. Come on. Let's get it. Let's try to get off this video to a strong start with a win. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Since we are using Palkia, that makes me get hyped for Diamond and Pearl Remix. Let me know what game are you guys going to be picking up. Are you going to be picking up Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl? Considering I'm on the edge. I do not know which game I want to pick up. I'm so indecisive and I'm definitely not going to be picking up both games considering... Like, why? There's really no point. I'm not going to play both of them. I know some people actually like to pick up both games, and that's your guys' thing. So you guys, if you guys play both, definitely pick them up both. But I'm only picking up one, and I do not know which one to do. I had Pearl as a kid, but I'm leaning towards Brilliant Diamond. So I'm not really sure. Definitely let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. Let's see who this guy leads. I could definitely see maybe like a like an Exernius lead, maybe? Let's see. Let's see his play. He's going to go into Xerneas and Indeedee. So I can definitely see it following me coming out here. And, oh, I could go Expanding Force and Gleam. Could be the play. Could be a lovely little play from Jeans here. That will hit up on both. Hmm. A Radiant Aurora, a Fairy Aurora, which is beautiful. But I could just go for a Gleam here, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go Gleam into Expanding Force. And certainly it will hit both. And say he goes for Follow Me, we're going to try to prevent him from setting up a Geomance. But let's see how this turn goes out here. I could have dropped the Mind Blown. I could have protected and Mind Blown, but that might be next turn. That might be next turn. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see it. Xerneas is so strong if it sets up uh, Geoman. So he does end up going for the Follow Me. We're going to try to uh, take this thing out right here. Expanding Force is not stabbed, but we'll see how much damage we can actually do with it. There goes our Gleam. Gleam's taking it down a good bit. 
a good bit. I'm thinking Expanded Force should be able to break this thing. Take it down. Do a Placephalon. Do him dirty. Oh my lord, yo. This close, bro. This close? Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, play is going to be another Expanded Force into a Gleam. That's got to be our play. I think either or will pick up the KOs. So that should be huge all around. He is going to take speed from us. At least from the, uh, from the Xerneas. And Xerneas might be able to pick up KO, but I think we should be fine all around here. Dang, dude, Expanding Force did not do the job. Maybe I should just drop the mine. Let's go for the Gleam. And then another Expanding Force. That's going to be our play. That is Jeans' play. Let's see what he does from here. Same turn as last time. Let's do it. I think he's going to take out one of our Pokemon, but then we bring out, uh... But then we bring out Palkia. I think it's going to be a one for two trade. I think we're going to take out both his Pokemon. He's going to take out one of ours, which I'm totally fine with. It. As long as I can get rid of that Xerneas and then bring out Palkia, I think we should be fine in this battle. It goes for the Helping Hand. Is he going for a Gleam? What's he going for here? He's going for the Gleam. So he's going for the Helping Hand Gleam. Both my, one of my Pokemon should be able to eat. It's Placephalon. Wow. That really took out my Lele. That really took out my Lele. Expanding Force comes out here. Should be able to pick up the double KO. i totally fine with that, right? Okay, cool. Good work, Placephalon. Yo, if Placephalon would have went down, I would have probably cried. Right here on the video. I would have been like, what you mean? <laughs> Tears start rolling out my eyes. I would have been a little upset, not even gonna lie. But there's a double beast boost there. That is huge. That is huge for your boy. Um, What other Pokemon do I think he's rocking? I could bring out Arachnid. But you know what? We're not. We're gonna bring out Palkia just in case he throws out Incineroar, which I can definitely see him rocking. We have a special attack here. I could protect him next turn in case he wants to go for a fake out. Because he can't fake out my Blacephalon. Now he goes Suicune. And Incineroar. And Torx. And Torx. Okay, I'm cool with that. Drought is out and about. So I can't go for a Mind Blown, but it'll be not very effective all around. Go for a Hydro Pump. I could go for a Spatial Ren. I'm thinking of doing it. Doesn't have fake out Raider Rock. So who should I go after? Who's posing more of a threat? I don't really think Torkoal's posing a threat, really. I think we're just gonna go there. And I think I might just go for a Shadow Ball. Double up into this Pokemon. Let's see how this one plays out. Battle was canceled. There it is, yo. Let's get it. Winning battle number one. We can hop through our second battle and look to go back to back. We just had ourselves a quick and easy first battle. Took only two turns. We did the same exact moves. Dude ended up canceling out. So now we can hop through our second battle and try to show off Palkia a little bit more here. But we're going up against a Ho-Oh team alongside with Regilecki, Celestial, Landorus, Urshifu, and Rolvin. Okay, so pretty solid team here. Definitely got to watch out. I might lead the Palkia with the Whimscott and try to take speed from him. I'm trying to think. Would that be a good play? Would that be a good play? I think it's pretty solid. He does have Fake Out Raider Rock. And if he does, I do. I can just double protect, right? I'm pretty sure Wimscott does have uh, protect on him. We do. So, yeah, I'm going to rock out with these two. Go Palkia, Wimscott. Where could go? Let's go Placephalon. Let's go. Let's go Placephalon and Wimscott and bring Palkia in the back. Because I might protect first turn with both these guys to actually uh, set up a Tailwind or, like, neglect the fake out and then just set up a Tailwind and go from there. So I'm digging it. I'm liking this. And then final Pokemon, we could go Lele. We're getting Lele here. Yeah, let's go top with Lele as our final Pokemon and rock out from there. Let's see how this one turns out. Is this the same team? No, it's not the same team because we did not bring Wimscott. And it's it, it's pretty much the same team. <laughs> like, oh, we just didn't bring Wimscott. But we're not leading the same Pokemon. So you could bring the same team but not lead the same Pokemon. It kind of makes a team very, very different in my opinion. Because I feel like the lead is just like the biggest part of your Pokemon. Let's see. Regilecki and Celestial are going to come out for the first two here. So we can E-Web for speed control. Um, he does not have a Protect ready to go, so I might just go for a um, Tailwind. I could Mind Blown. But I think I'm just going to... Dude, I really want to Mind Blown here. I'm thinking I'm just Mind Blowing and Protecting. Turn 1. I think that's just going to be my play here. Instead of Tailwinding. I know Bocephalon should be able to outspeed the Celestial. Unless he goes for an E-Web. But we shall really see what he does here. We'll go for an air slash into my Wimscott. We'll see. There's my protect. And wide guard. Oh, you buttery biscuit, man. Hate this game. Thunderbolts can come through here. Hate this game so much. He didn't even have to wide guard. But stuff on is just a glass cannon. You son of a biscuit, man. You son of a biscuit. 
coming in here with a wide guard. That's why wide guard is so good. It's so good. And it's so good all around. So now we have the Tailwind. I could go for a Spatial Ren. I'm probably going to do it over on the Ventral Lucky. Try to get rid of him. And just drop a Tailwind. Get the speed advantage rolling. And see how we do from there. Dang, man. Big old wide guard came in there. We didn't even get off a shot. We probably should have Tailwind. Well, even if we did Tailwind, then it was just like, okay, we're dead anyway. Spatial Ren comes through. Can we take that thing out? I think we can, right? Let's see. Sashed. It is sashed. We get a crit. Crits do land more easily with that move. So it's not like we're getting lucky there. He goes with there, and he's going to be able to go for a Volt Switch. And thinking I'm having a Sash, probably, so he, he wants to take it off. Or I think he's just going to take me out here. I think he's just going to go for an Air Slash and get the Beast Boost. <laughs> That's one plays out. We have Regilecki down. We have Tailwind for three more turns. We are not sitting in the driver's seat right now. I think he's going to take me out and then have Fake Out ready to rock. I think that's definitely going to be his play. And good thing is we have that top of Lele in the back, so we can take out the, the grassy turn. It was an air slash fine. Flash cannon's coming in hot, and that's still going to be able to take him out, no problem. Sorry, Whimsy. You're dead. He gets a beast boost. He's ready to rock out. Not liking where we're sitting. Not liking where we're sitting. But Cephalon got dumped on turn one by a Thunderbolt, which was tough. It was real tough for us. Let's go Lele. We have to go Lele. We have to go Lele here. Tapu Lele, baby. Na, 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 na. This one's not looking good for your boy right now. It is not looking good for your boy. But we getting after it. We getting after it. We did catch a win in battle number one. So if we lose this one, then we gotta win that next. Get that winning record for you guys. We go with that spatial run, which I'm thinking of doing. Then maybe just dropping a psychic. With the ball in the real boom. I do not really see the real boom protecting. I see him really uh going into a fake out. So let's see how this one plays out. Nope. Okay, we double up into him. That's beautiful. We should be able to take him out. No problem here, man. Should be able to get rid of him. We have speed. And the special run should come through here and say, Hey, yo, see you later, dog. Get him out of my game. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. Another crit back to back, but we didn't need a crit on that one. We did not need a crit there. There we go. Take out Roboom. And he's going to go for... Oh, he's leech seeding me, bro. You buttery biscuit, dude. Leech seed. Leech seed so good. So good, man. I think it's one of the most underrated moves ever. Ever. It is so good. You constantly get a stream of HP. And this thing's probably rocking left over here as well. He goes Lando. That's totally fine by me. The Celestial, I think it's just going to clutch him up for him. I'm just going to drop a Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump should be able to do enough damage for that thing. And I'm just going to drop a... Uh, can't really do anything up against that. Dude, let's just let's just do a little swap ski action. I could go Hydro Pump over onto Celestial. No, we're going to go here. And I think I'm just going to protect you. That's my play. Protected Lele. Protected Lele. Maybe she's going for a seed there. Protect from Lando comes out. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Do what he does here. Hydro pump. Blocked. So let's steal him. Please go after Lele. Let's just cancel out the turn here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm with it. I'm with it. <laughs> seeds are coming out, yo. Look how much damage seeds do. For no reason. Stupid seeds at my feet are doing damage to me. It makes no sense. Could go for another Hydro Pump. That is 100% going to be my play. And I guess we will Moon Blaster on. What's going to do more damage? Could I have a chance to lower special attack, so I'm going to go for this. Look for a special attack drop. Give me my play. Moon Blast comes through. Show it to me. Drop a special attack. Give me the money. Give me the money here. Give it to me. Give it to me. Dang it, man. Did not get it. Hydro Pump. It misses, bro. It misses. You should be dead. That thing should be dead. He should be dead. Get him out of here. He should be dead, but we're going to lose this battle. I think we're going to lose it regardless, but dude, he should be dead there. He should be dead. My Lele should be alive. Bruh, 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 bruh. Wow, this would have actually been a decent battle. Just saying. He would have been dead. Regilecki's on one. I could have gleaned next turn and started trying to get after Celestial. Could have 100% been my play. But now he's not. Now I think he's just going to protect again. So I'm going to drop a Hydro Pump into the other side. Let me my play. This one plays out. We missed our dang Hydro Pump. What is this game, man? What is this game? Can't stand it sometimes, guys. RNG's whack. There's a protect. We read it nice and hard. Should be dead anyway. I'm playing around with this game. What a chachi. Get him out of here. Get this dude out of my face. 
Watch, yo, we're gonna miss another Hydro Pump. I just have an odd feeling. Like, you guys know when you're playing Pokemon, you're just like, dude, I got an odd feeling about this one. But he's just gonna be able to leech me out, but I just wanna take out this lander. Just be like, hey, yo, lander, get out of my game. I just wanna tell this lander to go home. That's really what I wanna do. Let's see. Let's see if we can connect this one. But I think he might outspeed me here. This might be our last turn tailwind. I really haven't been paying attention to the tailwind. Love John comes through. Eat it. Nope. And we're dead anyway. There we go. One and one for our first two battles. We can hop to our third and final battle. I feel like Palkia did really well there. Just didn't have the team to back him up. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're sitting at one and one. And you know your boy wants that winning record for today's video. We're going up against an... Ecturnius team? I forget how to pronounce that Pokemon's name, but we're going up against that guy. He's a legendary from Sword and Shield alongside Porygon 2, Rillaboom, Zapdos, Incineroar, and Celestial. So definitely a very strong team we're looking or going up against. I definitely want to lead this one shot. I might leave Palkia as long alongside with it. I think that can be really strong for us and we can really get after it with that. I'm gonna bring in the Lele and then final Pokemon. I'm thinking Pocephalon, but I think a Raquinid or something like that could be better in the back end. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? I might actually go with Sakataka. Sakataka could be decent here. Got the Gyro Ball. We have the Rock Slide. Both Stab. The Trick Room. We do have the Wide Guard as well. Which could work wonders. I'm thinking going Sakataka here. Let's do it. Let's rock out with him as our final Pokemon. And try to grab ourselves that winning record here. Our first battle. Did we win our first battle? I think the first battle was the one that we won up against Xerneas. The second battle, we ended up losing. But hopefully we get to show off Palkia a little bit more. Considering the second battle we did, he was able to do some big damage. All that good stuff. But we weren't able to pick up the win. We were not able to pick up the win. But trust me, guys. Palkia is great all around. Pretty bulky. Hits like an absolute truck. Has huge stab damage. Like Hydro Pump and Space Ryan hits so hard every single time. He's going to end up going Externatus and Celestila. And Celestila could set up a leech with the Celestila. Little seeds can do me dirty, man. Little seeds can do me dirty. Um, hmm. No helping hand, but I think I'm just going to drop a tailwind. I get speed bump in here. I'm just going to go for that space run over on this thing. Let's pose that big threat over on this guy. He might protect. Let's see what he does. He does not protect. That's huge. I think we, we might be able to take this thing out. I think we might be able to tell this thing to go home. Spatial Run comes out after Tailwind. Do we get the Telus thing to get out of the game? Spatial Run comes out here. Get him out of here, dude. Get him out of here. We didn't even need the crit. I knew that thing was going to KO regardless. That's why I thought he was going to protect. I thought he was just going to sit there and be like, all right, I'm protecting. And this thing, dude. He throws a little bit of seeds at my feet. He goes like this. Just a little salt bay sprinkled onto my feet with seeds. Hey, dude, that is how it's done. That is how it's done, yo. We hit him with a spatial run, and this guy turned off his console. There's no way you're telling me this guy disconnected at this time. He turned off his console after we took out that externatus, and we grab ourselves that winning record for today's video and show off the power of Palkia. We ended up getting that win in that third and final battle. I know because it was on my record board. I did not disconnect. He was the one that disconnected. So I know he either turned off his console or closed out the software. That is hilarious and awesome all around. We had three great battles today. Two wins, one loss. And our two wins were rather quick. So we had a rather shorter video for today. So definitely let me know if you guys want to see another Palkia team that shows off Palkia a little bit more than we did in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.